creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. All right, Harold Ginn, creative continuity at the Great Philadelphia Comic Con with Seth Gilliam. How long you been uh, in the active business? You've been in a number of things. I have, you know, I was just figuring this out with a couple of fans earlier. This is, uh, I've been in the business for 25 years. Wow, wow. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, awesome. It, it, it kind of hurts to say it out loud like that. 25 years. No, 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 years. you look good, brother. It's a long good. time. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I love playing Dr. Deaton on Teen Wolf. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, he knows, he knows what's going on, but he doesn't give it away. Right, right. He's like a great teacher in the sense of like, I know what the answer is, but it's more important that you come to the answer for right, yourself. Right, I right, can right. tell you what it is, but then you won't know it. You right. know, You only know it by getting there yourself. And I love that he's got this kind of patience and this kind of Yoda-like, this kind of zen right, quality right, thing yeah. going on. Yeah. And you do a good demeanor. Like, it's cool. He has this gentle vibe about him. Yes. But he's also not one to mess around with. No, you don't want to mess with the doctor, Not man. at all. The doctor will beat that ass. And Father Gabriel is a whole lot different from the Teen Wolf character. Father Gabriel is definitely different from Dr. Deaton, yeah. I think, I think they're kind of polar opposites, in a sense. Absolutely. You know, Father Gabriel doesn't know what is going on and is very ill-equipped to handle what's going on. And Dr. Deaton knows everything that's going on and is fully equipped to handle any right, and every right, situation. Right, yeah. Well, I think, you know, we also have to remember that Father Gabriel was alone for like 18 months. Mm. You know what I mean? So when we meet the other people in the show, we get to see their, their change over right, from where right, they started right. to where they begin. We're meeting Father Gabriel and this is like, of course, we're four or five seasons into the show, but for him, it's all very new. Right. Him stepping out into the world, he hasn't stepped That's out into true. this world yeah, he yet. Stayed in the so this is all like for the first time. He's seeing this stuff for the first time. You know what I mean? Now, how's, so, how's your experience been just uh, working on the, the it's been, set? It's been a great experience. It's, it's been, been a great, great experience. The people are lovely. Everybody is, is so focused on the show. They're up for anything and everything that goes down. It's all about telling the story not their individual story, it's about telling the story as a collective. Right. It's very much like The Wire in that sense, right, you know, right. where everybody had a sense that they were all part of a much larger thing. And it wasn't a vanity project, you know. And even though the show is very popular, you don't get ego when you are when you go to work, which is fantastic. That's awesome. Have you ever been scared on set? I've been a little freaked out. I wouldn't say scared, but I've been freaked out by the detail that they put into these right, right, to these right. creatures. I try not to look at them as much as possible because I like, it's, I don't like peeking behind the curtain. You right. know what I mean? I want to see it like when it's a fl finished, completed project. And so I kind of shy away from seeing them until it's right about time to start filming. And then the, re the reactions are a little clearer and they're right, a little true. Right, right, right. Oh, you know? so when you seeing something coming at you. Uh, I'm seeing something coming right, at right, me. Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have you read the comic book prior to the show? Or are you coming into this for us? Um, no, I've read the issue where Father Gabriel is introduced, mm -hmm. which is, I think it's issue 61. Um, and I read the Fear the Hunters, kind of a little trilogy, you know, three comics in month type of thing. But um, no, I, I take the, 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 the graphic novels as one thing and the TV show as something else. Right. You know, and I'm basically just taking whatever is on the page in the script that I get and trying to fill that out as best as I can and not take any information and, and read anything from the graphic novels that I might get stuck with. I don't want to like start, oh, well, this is a great moment. Maybe I could talk to somebody and to get, you know, right, we right, could do right. that on no, the show. That's smart. Or that's something smart. like that. And I want to be distracted and I didn't want to have too much information because there's plenty of information in the scripts that we get for the TV show. All right, this is Harold Gant signing off with Seth Gilliam. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure is all mine. Thank you for the interview.